What's going on guys? Cordy here and welcome back to another Paragon video. Uh, we have a little bit of uh, information coming here from Paragon. We got, um, we have an inside prime post from Ranger, uh, kind of going over what's, what's upcoming, uh, in the, in the future. And we do have like a little rework on Kalari. So we'll get to that. Um, we have a post on the, on the YouTube channel, uh, showing off Grim. We're going to see a little trailer game. If you guys didn't know, Grim is going to be the next hero coming out and, um, on the patch, which is going to be, so around this weekend, we should be getting the new patch. Uh, so we have that coming up. I have a little video that we're going to watch on that. So, uh, and also just really quickly, um, about the YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, I haven't been streaming a lot and putting a lot of content out yet. Just busy with work and waiting, kind of waiting for the new updates. So I haven't been really been playing that much Paragon recently, but once a new update comes up, we'll, we'll have some fun playing with the new, the new stuff and we'll get more content out to you guys. So I do apologize for not getting those, those daily videos uploaded. Uh, but we, we are going to still try to give you that, that news from Paragon. So first, let's get into this inside prime here from Ranger. Uh, so first of all, this first little part here, we got the sturdy type keyboards. Uh, they do apologize for the inconvenience, but they are going to be trying to working on uh, getting more key binding for for those users of the of the keyboards. Um, next, we're gonna we want to address inten intentional inf interferences with teammates griefing and other unsocial like behavior, as well as improvements to in-game reporting system. They're kind of just cleaning up the game uh with with that post right there and here is one of the big ones the big post is going to be about uh kalari so furthermore many of our warriors provided feedback about making balance adjustments to the hero kalari i personally think kalari is fine i know wards are, are definitely a, a factor in in her kit but if you can play around that and, and play you to play you definitely have to play a different style um when you're doing your your ganking and things like that as Kalari but I think I feel like she does really well maybe not at the higher end but still is definitely playable with this most recent patch but they are going to be making some notable suggestions we received were uh making her e physical damage I think this is probably like one of the main things and this happens to a lot of other heroes as well some of their abilities in their kit usually the leap is a different type of damage it's really weird Kalari has it to where she does magical damage on her leap. Uh, Sarath does magical damage on her leap. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. There's other characters out there that have like one damaging ability that's different from what their main damage source is. It's just really weird mechanic that they have. They should just make it to where all, you know, it, all their all their damage should be, you know, the same, um, same type of damage. So that's kind of what they're saying with this one. Uh, making Twilight Guy the E-Skill going to be doing physical damage rather than magical. I think it's a great change. Uh, exposed to Stealth, a Faded Light, the Q-Skill, the specific Watcher's Eyes. Um, right now, because everyone has Watcher's Eye, it makes it a little bit harder to play Kalari. Add a teleport function to the the Ultimate. Um, these are suggestions, by the way. These aren't these aren't being changed. These are just suggestions from, from the community. So, the, oh, if you guys didn't play Old Paragon... Kalara used to have a, a teleport on her ult, which is pretty crazy. It was it was really nuts. It was fun, but it was nuts. So she can just, you know, if someone's really low on the enemy team from across the map and you're like 2v2 fighting, say you're fighting in, in dual lane and one of them's really low, you can ult from your the other side of the map just to go to that lane. But yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. I don't know if that should be included in this. Uh, I do like the way her ult is now though. Um, and then added a double jump function. So that's another another thing from old Paragon. Uh, Kalari is currently undergoing an overall remake. During the process, we we will take into consideration the aforementioned points to make a necessary adjustment. So, they are going to be re, re, uh, remaking Kalari. They're going to be changing Kalari. They'll you know take these things into consideration. Not saying that they are going to do it, but um, it'd be interesting to see. Just you know, we're getting a different version of Kalari. Additionally, we received back received feedback regarding hero and skill balance. Uh, there have been suggestions to restrict scout ahead. Karma to support rules only, then requesting for improvements concerning certain positions, heroes. Uh, to address the concerns, we plan to continuously update Karma and with various effects, allowing players to choose Karma based on different strategies. We're also considering position-based restrictions for Karma usage. Um, I kind of don't mind this. I say kind of because, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're playing, um, usually when you're playing in casuals, when you're playing with like you know, newer people or maybe people might be tend to troll, um, if you pick the destruction, the jungle item on a roll that when you're not jungling, you're hurting the, the jungler. Your the jungler's clear is gonna be a little bit shorter or are or, or, um, not as quick. The secures on big objectives, it, it'll do half the damage. So if the enemy jungler, if you guys are on the same level, then the enemy jungler automatically has an advantage 
because someone on your team bought the destruction karma. So it's usually it's usually picked up by new players who don't understand, you know, this, the karma spell yet. They don't understand the game mechanics. Uh, and also it's picked up by trolls. So that's why I say when I kind of like this idea of having it restricted to position based. Um, but the, the other part of me, I don't like it because you, you won't be able to like experiment with other, you know, other uh, karmas and with different roles and different heroes and things like that. Um, so I kind of agree with this, but I, I really just would like the maybe destruction to be specifically per jungle. If someone picks jungle, then you can really only purchase that or only one purchase it, per person can purchase it um, in the lobby. That way it can help with uh, alleviate some of that that issue with newer players, really. Because trolls are going to be trolls. You can't prevent that. But, you know, to try to help with the newer players. As far as the other karma spells, I mean, right now we only have a little bit. Next patch, we're going to have a big amount uh, coming up. There's like, uh, I think, six more being added or somewhere around there. And some of them seem really strong. Um, so we might not see everyone picking um, the same karma spells. And also Scout Ahead is one that they mentioned in this post. Scout Ahead got changed to where um, it's more effective for not hitting, not last hitting the minions. And um, so it won't be as as strong. The only really good part about it is getting all those wards um, throughout the map. So yeah, we'll see how they go about that. I think the main thing on, on this post is really just Kalari. Uh, we're getting a Kalari remake uh, pretty much. And they're going to be taking these things into consideration. I don't like the teleport function. That's kind of a little OP, in my opinion. Um, just imagine you're 2v2ing in lane and randomly Kalari is going to show up because you're half health. They can show up and change that fight to a 3v2 like instantly while doing damage. You know, it's it's kind of nuts. Kind of a nuts mechanic. I, I, hopefully this isn't going to be a thing. Uh, the other the other side, I don't, I don't mind. I don't care about the double jump. It doesn't really matter that much to me. Uh, physical damage, I think is... They should do this for all their characters, make it to where it's just one type of damage, not having it split up. That way um, you can get a little bit more damage on this, on that certain damage type. And then, yeah, changing the uh, the stealth to the, now that everyone has wards, changing the stealth mechanic could be, uh, could be beneficial. So yeah, that is the post from Ranger. Let's go ahead and swap over to the, um, the video for the release of Grimm. All right, now here is the trailer, the hero trailer for Grimm. I haven't seen this yet, so. Kind of interested in, in seeing this. Their trailers are pretty cool. Adele was pretty nice. Um, I do like what they're doing. They have them all just pretty much in the uh, in the map with like different cinematics. So I really don't know who is Grim. Is Grim this character, the creature, or is Grim the the mechanic, the uh, the uh, the uh, robot? I, I never really looked into the lore like that. I want to say Grim is the um the, the metal the robot initiate protocol revenge initiate protocol revenge hello initiate hug <laughs> initiate hug some blast hey he said his name he said his name some blast Grim is the boss he is handsome and smart Grimm is the boss. Dude, if they don't change him, I think he's going to be nuts on release. Oh my god. Look at that ult, man. Bro. And it's on a, like, looking at the... Looking at the uh, the trial build, it's on a really low cooldown. Sheesh. <laughs> Dude, it hits so hard, man. It hits really hard and it's on a low cooldown. I don't know if he if he comes out like this, it's he's gonna be nuts, man. He's gonna be nuts. Like it, in the trial build, his his ult was like the scaling was 150 percent, which is pretty high. Uh, I think probably one of the highest like magical scaling 
um, abilities. And then it's on a really low cooldown. He only has two damaging abilities, which is his ultimate and then the, the bomb that he throws out. But, uh, but man, they hit really hard. So if he comes out, I think, I think if he comes out the way he was in the dry build, I think he's become nuts. He's be really, really strong. But yeah, his all hit super hard to definitely mess around with some like maybe one shot builds. Having to like or your first ability hits super hard and so your all just deletes. But, but yeah, it's a really cool video. Really cool cinematic. I like what they're doing with their cinematics, the the, the hero uh, reveals. But yeah, guys, this is going to be Grim. He is going to be classified as a caster in the game. Um, he is coming out, I think. It's going to be this weekend, either 30th, 31st. The the end of the trial build is on the 26th. So the uh, the game should be releasing. The, the, the new patch should be releasing sometime after that. But yeah, guys, what do you think about Grim? I think he's going to be really good when he comes out. I'm excited to play him. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll we'll see. Whenever the patch notes come out, we'll we'll officially go through the patch notes and and read off everything that's changing. There's gonna be a lot of changement changing going to the uh, the next patch. I'm super excited for it. Yeah, guys, that is it for the video. Everyone, take care, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Stand against the boss.